Welcome back for our next indie horror game tonight, The Sewer Job. You were on the brink of becoming homeless. That's when you found a sewer job application. You got accepted for what seemed like a chill work at first turned quickly into an unsettling experience. Can't imagine that working in a sewer would be pleasant at all. You know, least of all when that creepy guy standing right there in the cat mask and the, you know, black leather is probably lurking around down there waiting to stick a knife in us. But I guess, when you know, if it's either go work in the sewer with the serial bondage guy or, you know, become a street person. I think I'd rather become a street person, but I guess this guy is going to take the other choice. So, here we go. Fuck, I'm late on my first day. I should hurry to the cafeteria he told me to meet at. He who? Like, I guess he means his boss. That's locked. Oh, shit. Fucking hell, you scared me good. Why are you waiting here? That's a good question. Why are you... Oh, that's the boss. Sorry about that. You were 20 minutes late, so I decided to wait for you here. Why didn't you knock on the door instead of standing there lurking around the corner like a big, super creepy, creepy pants? <sighs> Sorry, it looks bad when I'm late on my first day. Trust me, it won't happen again. I'll let it slip this time. Make sure not to be late again. Well then, shall I show you around? Yes, that sounds good. Alright. In here you will find the bathroom and shower. Feel free to go check it out. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. It's a bathroom and a shower. What is there to look at? <laughs> 1984? That's cute. Uh, yep, it's a bathroom and a shower, all right. Pretty fascinating. Hmm. Are you ready to continue? Yes. All right. I'm just going to picture, since the text of him saying follow me never disappeared from top of his head, that this guy is just walking down the street yelling, follow me, over and over and over and over and over again. Just, just follow me, follow me, follow me, like a fucking robot. <laughs> it's a pretty well laid out design city here. Some cops over there. Hanging out in riot gear for some reason. Uh, here's the entrance to the sewer. I will give you a list of work to do and a map of the place. Press M to open close map work schedule. Alright, All right, I'll get to work there. Thanks for this opportunity again. He looks like a fucking serial killer, doesn't he? He's got black gloves on, one knee pad for some reason. Alright, here we go. What the fuck? Okay, admittedly... Use the dog aggressively shaking his collar into my microphone. As I was saying, I've never been in a sewer. Are they usually this big? Because this looks less like a sewer and more like a fucking castle dungeon. Uh, Alright. What are we doing on day one here? Pick up all the metal planes and pallets from room one and two. You will find the storage room on the second floor in room one. 
Okay. Sure. Can't carry anymore. Well, you can only carry three at a time. Alright. I could barely carry one of those over my head. Those those wooden ones are solid. Like or most of them are. Sometimes they're flimsy, but what the hell is that? What the fuck is that? Is that a it's not a real skull, right? Uh, I think it is. With what appears to be a camera in its eye. Ugh. Not creepy at all. Three. Oh god. Big ass fucking blood stain over there. We gonna check that out after I get rid of this shit. Jeez, first day on the job we got fucking human skulls with cameras in their eye sockets and a big ass puddle of blood over there. Wait, I went the wrong way. Shit. Where the hell's fucking... Oh, there. There we go. Alright. Let's go see about this giant blood snake. Is that blood? It sure as hell looks like it. Not an insignificant amount of it either. Right into that room, whatever's there. Well, there's one room is that. The boss room. Huh. Okay. <laughs> somebody kill the boss? Or the boss kills somebody else. I told you, I'm calling it. The boss is the psycho. I see it already. Should be all done for today. Time to head on home. Short work day. Weird shit happening already, though. That was easier than what I expected. Maybe tomorrow gets rougher. I mean, rougher than human head, human head surveillance cameras and pools of blood that lead into locked rooms. <laughs> That looked like the guy from the title screen. He had that black shirt and the. Uh, mask on. Time to go write my diary for today. How do we do that? We sit in the chair. That's how we do that. What happened today? Choose which describes your day the best. I met up with my boss and he showed me the sewer. The way to the sewer. First day in the sewer was not challenging, but a bit strange. And there were some cameras made of skulls. And when I got home today, there was some guy in a mask outside my apartment. I met my boss and he showed me the way to the sewer. The first day in the sewer wasn't challenging, but a little strange. As there were some cameras made of skulls and blood under a locked door that looked disturbingly realistic. And when I came home, there was some guy in a mask outside my apartment. Okay, let's go with that one. Hey, let's go talk to those cops that were sitting over there. Maybe we can tell them about the...
fucking skull cameras with blood everywhere. That looks good. Time to use the restroom and head to bed. Well, there's no bathroom in this apartment, so we're gonna have to... All the way downstairs and all the way next door just to take a leak. This is not convenient at all. Alright. Can't open the bathroom door. Oh, it's just that that bottle fell over. Oh, yeah. Did I leave the door open? I'm pretty sure we did, actually. Yeah. Oh, he won't go back to bed. I guess we're gonna go investigate the weird noise in the middle of the night. Like, it's a little... Was there somebody... Was there somebody outside that window? It looked like something moved right outside the window, like somebody tapped on it or something. Locked. That would have been up there. How the fuck? Somebody have got up there. Or maybe. Maybe it was one of those. I don't know. It definitely looked like somebody tapped on that window. I, I don't know. Oh shit. It's just a nightmare. Well, I better get going to work now. That was definitely the guy from the tile screen. Cat mask and all. Alright. Oh, there's a girl standing over there. Cops are over there. There we go. Excuse me. Yes. You ask for a number or ask her about the sewer. I like just like blundering up to her and just asking for a number out of nowhere would be a little creepy. So uh, it just let's ask her about the sewer. Have you heard any rumors about the sewer here? I remember there being a report about a sewer worker that went missing. That case went cold quickly. Do you know why it went cold quickly? Seemed like no one really cared about that guy. <laughs> Fucking sad. <laughs> okay, thank you. Have a great day. No problem. You too. Alright. She's cute. Should ask for a number. Oh well. Maybe she'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe these cops can, I'll tell them about the, can I help you with something, kid? Yeah, you can tell me why you're just hanging out here in the middle of the street. Sorry if I disturbed you. I'm new to the area and I was just looking around. That's fine. What brings you to this quiet neighborhood? I saw an amazing job opportunity in the sewers here and miraculously got accepted. That's great. There's been some strange happenings to the workers down there, so be careful. Don't hesitate to come to me for help. I'll tell them about the blood. Yes. Well, about that. I saw some blood under a locked door. Some blood? How about a lot? You know, blood under a locked door sounds very concerning. I've always suspected that place, so I have a suggestion to give you. 
How about you work for us as a secret spy? Man, I it, yesterday I didn't have a job at all. Now I have a job in the sewer and a job as an undercover police spy. Uh, work for them, yes or no? Right. Sure, why not? Sounds good. What do you want me to do? Well, I want you to work as normal, but at the same time, look for incriminating evidence. I'll wait for your report here tomorrow. Okay, I'll try my best. These guys are supposed to be undercover cops, but they're just sitting out here in the middle of the street in broad daylight in full riot gear and military camo with helmets on. <laughs> uh, at least they're still sitting outside a donut shop. It's nice to see some stereotypes don't die. Ugh. All right. Mm, got here. What is day two? Valve room needs new valves. You will find three valves in the storage room, top right of the map. Simply pick them up and screw them on in the valve room. So the valve room is, if I'm not reading that incorrectly, right there. The valve storage room is. All the way in the top right, beyond room five. So. Should be. Down that hallway. All the way at the end. We've got a little side path here, though. I wonder if there's anything down here. Oh shit. That's someone's remains. What the fuck is going on here? What does that say? Help me please. You found a whole human skeleton and a message written in blood begging for help. Definitely tell the cops about that. Oh shit. Ooh boy, that guy's he fucking I mean he doesn't even look scary and he's so creepy because he just like pops out and behind corners and he just disappears in the thin air, like he's nowhere. The fucking wheel, valve wheels, should be somewhere in this room. There's another one of those fucking skull cameras. Those things are everywhere. There we go. Valve wheels. Alright. Let's take those up to the valve room. Light bulb busted somewhere. Power outage. I remember something about this on the work schedule paper. Oh shit. If a power outage would happen, simply go to the three electrical boxes marked on the map, press the green button on all. Also be cautious if you see someone else because you were working alone as of right now. So one of them's in this room, one of them's in the next room next to this one, and the last one is all the way at the end of room one behind the water. Okay, there we go. There's the one here.
should be another one in here somewhere down here somewhere And the last one will be all the way directly at the end of room one. There's another camera. That one's under the water. And there's the entrance. Which means the last power switch should be right behind that water flow. Holy fuck, God. Exactly. Fucking hell, who are you? Fuck, you scared me as well. I'm just a homeless guy that's trying to find shelter. Sure, that's all? I should probably tell my boss about this. Yes, that's all. Please don't tell your boss. I'm begging you. Are you sure? Are you the guy that's been stalking me here in the sewer? No, I've never seen you before. Are you sure? Because I've heard a lot of strange noises around me in the past days, which is weird. I'm not supposed to be alone here. Don't tell him that! Oh, God. Uh, strange. Sounds like there's someone else here, too, then, because I have not seen you here before. Alright, well, you better not do anything weird. I'm going to continue working now. Okay. Alright, where's that last power button? There we go. Where did he go? <laughs> this fucking homeless guy was a ghost. He just disappeared. I'm gonna go use the restroom and write in my diaries for today. Alright. Oh fuck. You ever heard of knocking? You ever heard of locking? <laughs> good point. <laughs> Nailed it. I assume you live in the apartment complex next to this place. No, I don't actually. I just get here. I have to hire to clean this bathroom and the two apartments there sometimes. Oh, I see. How long you... until you are finished cleaning? You're in luck because I just got finished. I'll be on my way now. See ya. Diary writing time. Well, we only got one choice for today. I started working undercover for the police today to help them figure out what's going on in the sewers, which means I'm going to stop writing in this diary for now. But you just wrote that in the diary, so it doesn't matter. Alright. Okay, how do I get out of the chair? You're not letting me up. What the fuck was that? Maybe I'm just seeing things because of tiredness. Let's go to sleep. I didn't see shit. Did I miss it? Was I looking the other way? What the hell happened? Alright, whatever. 
Well, the girl's not over there now. Anybody down here? Nope. 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 Cops are over there, though. Let's just parade down the street for a second. See if there's anything. Hmm. Invisible wall there. I can't get all the way around the car. Alright. How did yesterday go? I found someone's remains in a hidden place. There was also some guy following me around. That's solid evidence. Good job. Sounds like we're dealing with a dangerous guy. So be careful. He might be the reason why people have been disappearing recently. Keep up the work. we we'll meet back here again tomorrow. All right. Hmm. I just told you I found somebody's corpse. And you're like, we'll deal with it after our donuts. On another day that isn't today. What the fuck? All right. What we got today? Wednesday. You will see circles on the map. Those are pipe entries. Go close all the ones that are still open. Alright. It's like one in the valve room, one in room two, two in room three, one in four, and two in five. Wait, the valve room was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, there's that one. That one in room two is already closed. Room three should be there. There's an open one. Somebody cleaned up the blood. That one's closed. It's got a camera in it. Holy shit! Is that a head? That looks way too real. This is some kind of sick joke, right? No, I don't think it is. I can't tell who that is. Is that the homeless guy? Oh, I don't know. Somebody shaved his face off. I can't tell who it, who that's supposed to be. Or maybe nobody at all in particular. That one's closed. Shut. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna slam that one shut right now. Before he pops back out of there. That should be all done for today. Time to head home. Well, I'm gonna go to the cops tomorrow and tell them my head fell out of a sewer pipe, and they're gonna be like, "Keep up the work. We'll deal with it tomorrow."
guy is amazingly tolerant for, you know, less than ideal work conditions. Like, if I got a job and on the first day I find cameras and human skulls and a huge pile of blood, I'm already out. You know, I'm not sticking around to find, you know, human skeletons behind cages and messages written in blood. Fucking heads falling out of pipes. Like, I'm not even going to be there for that. A huge pile of blood, cameras, and severed skulls. I'm, I'm done. That's a deal breaker already. All right, we're not writing in the diary anymore, are we? Because we're... Okay. All right. Let's go talk to the police and figure out the plan for today. What was the work plan for today? Meeting in the boss room to discuss your future and how the first few days have been. The boss room is the room that had the giant puddle of blood outside of it. Oh. <laughs> Got any more information? When I closed the pipe entrance, a human head came falling down. I also saw a guy creeping around. Okay, I think we got an information to do enough information to do this. What's on your schedule today? I'm supposed to have a meeting with him in the boss room today. Okay, it seems he's planning to finish you off today, then. Here's the plan. You go to work acting like you don't know anything. Then when you see him, just run for your life to the entrance, and Will will capture him. Okay, I understand. Be wary of the camera so he doesn't see you. Uh, you're sending me into the lion's den after everything I've told you. And you're all like, if he tries to kill you, and he probably will, just haul ass for the exit. Hopefully we shoot him before he cuts your head off and throws it down a sewer pipe in front of the next guy. Oh, boy. All right. Boss room, boss room, boss room. Mm. Nobody here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know what the packages on the top are. We got skulls in those masks like the one the creepy guy had on. Oh, it's gonna let me open the... Oh, shit! It's time to go. It's, it's time to go. We got heads, arms, whole, two whole torsos down there. Yeah, I, I quit. I fucking quit. I've had it. It's enough. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. They shoot his ass. Damn it, they didn't shoot him. Was my boss the guy you were looking for? Yes, after we interrogated him, he admitted to murdering several of the people who disappeared in this area in recent months. So I must say you did an outstanding job the past few days, and because of your actions, countless lives have been saved. I well, not countless. Thank you. I tried my best. As a reward, I will personally make sure you find work and everything else you need to have a bright future. What, really? Thank you so much. It means really means the world to me. Hmm. Oh, this game has four endings. That was the fourth one. Hmm. So I guess one involves probably getting killed in at least one of them. Or not working for the cops probably affects it as well. Hmm. 
Interesting. I'll have to replay and see what those other endings were. Alright. So, that was the sewer job. Uh, that was pretty good. I like that. Few few jump scares. They didn't overdo it. And the, 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 you know, the antagonistic force didn't have to be you know, a, a big scary monster, super fucked up looking to be, you know, threatening. And the environment was definitely unsettling and creepy. You know, probably because it was so big and also empty. You know, it felt like anything could just pop out of anywhere. Since there was so much area. But the city was well designed and, I mean, you know, the, the dialogue was pretty well written. Music's decent. I mean, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good effort. For a game I paid two fifty nine for, that's, that's a pretty good effort. I like it. That was good. Hope I hope whoever the developer of this was makes more stuff, because I'll play that too, because that was pretty good. Um, okay, so thank you for watching The Sewer Job, and we'll see you in the next title.